things here in our shipyard. The shipyard began in 1942 with one goal in mind, support our country during the war. Wooden ships was something we knew how to build. So we rolled up our sleeves, built barges for the Navy, and here we are, 78 years later, some 1,500 ships, all sizes and shape, with the same partner at the center of our mission, the world's greatest Navy. <laughs> Mr. President, welcome to Marinette. The men and women joining us today represent more than 2,200 Fink and Terry employees in three shipyards in Northeast Wisconsin. We take pride in never forgetting the needs of our customers, the importance of our mission. We take pride in supporting each other, our families, the Wisconsin and Michigan communities in which we live. Partnerships matter. Our president and CEO of Fink and Terry Marine Group, Mr. Dario Deste, reminds us about this all the time. Our important partnerships go beyond the shipyard. From the U.S. Navy, Assistant Secretary of the Navy, James Hondo Gertz is here. There he is. Mr. Secretary, as always, it is great to see you back. We would not be the most modern shipyard in America without tremendous state and community support. We are focused on giving the Navy the toughest warships for a future fleet. The next generation guided missile frigate will now be the game changer and our sailors deserve it. Because tomorrow's battles will not be won with yesterday's ships. We are confident enough to know that we can do this, but we are humble enough to know that we can't do it alone. So thank you to countless others who work with us, our employees, our partners and suppliers, like Trident Maritime Systems and Team Industries, our Boilermakers, everybody, whew our families, our fellow local businesses who make this all possible. Thank you. Mr. President, this is what keeps America great day in and day out. We appreciate the resources that you and your administration have committed to strengthen our military and our nation. Thank you. And thank you very much. I'm thrilled to be here with you on this incredible summer day in Wisconsin on the edge of the beautiful Lake Michigan with the legendary workers of Marinette Marine. And you now have a lot of contracts because of the United States government. You're gonna, you're gonna be so busy. For more than 75 years, the workers of this shipyard have built some 1,500 of the finest and most fearsome vessels ever to sail. You've kept our sailors safe and our Navy strong. Every single day, you prove that American workers are the best in the world, and now you're going to do things like you've never done before. Moments ago, I walked the length of the majestic Freedom Class combat ship that many of you have been pouring your hearts and souls out for over a year. Soon, that ship will be commissioned into the most powerful fleet in human history. Everywhere it goes, our allies and enemies alike will know the strength and pride that symbolizes that name. I want to thank Jan Allman, Dario Deste, and Admiral, Vice Admiral Rick Hunt. I want to thank Wisconsin State Representatives John Nigren and Mary Felskowski. Mary, thank you very much. John, thank you very much. Thank you both. And Marinette Mayor Steve Genesot. We're here today to celebrate the resounding victory for all of you, for Wisconsin, for the United States, military and for our entire nation. Our nation is very proud of Wisconsin. As part of my administration's rebuilding of the United States military, you were awarded a contract to build the next generation of guided missile frigate for the United States Navy. But it's going to be built right here in the American heartland, and it's going to be built by you. The massive deal is worth up to $5.5 billion. We'll put the shipyard to work constructing some of the fastest, most advanced, and most maneuverable combat ships anywhere in the ocean. The first in class, FFGX, will not just be a win for Wisconsin workers, it will also be a major victory for our Navy. And you'll fashion the ultimate symbol of American power and American prestige. 
wherever the FFGX cuts across the horizon. It will go as a 7,500-ton message to the world that American might is second to none. I'd like to take a moment to recognize just a few of the hardworking patriots who are helping to bring these monumental ships to life, and that's what they are. Gary Ayad is the third generation of his family to serve at this shipyard. He has worked here for 17 years and is now our production manager. Gary, please come up and say a few words. Gary, thank you. My name is Gary Ayad. I'm a production manager here at Fincantieri Marinette Marine. I have been fortunate enough to be employed here for over 17 years. I started in the trades, and through hard work and dedication, I transitioned into management. These employees in front of you are here to build the best ships possible. The sense of pride felt when a ship gets launched or goes out on trials is like nothing else. These men and women breathe life into steel. Mr. President, Wisconsin thanks you, the city of Marinette thanks you, and Fincantieri Marinette Marine thanks you. Thank you very much, Gary. We're also joined by Tyler Cahill. Tyler served for nine years in the U.S. Navy, then returned here to his hometown to become a quality technical coordinator. Tyler, please come up and say a few words. Thank you, Tyler. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tyler Cahill. I'm a native to the Marinette area, a former second-class petty officer in the United States Navy Seabees, an Afghanistan war vet, a hockey coach, and a quality coordinator here at Marinette Marine. This shipyard is a lifeline to the community and a driving force behind its economic growth. In major part due to the LCS program and the newly awarded frigate contract, I've seen young families move to the area friends open new local businesses, and a beautiful new sports facility open to be utilized by the local hockey kids that I get to coach. None of this would have been possible without these contracts. So once again, Mr. President, I would like to say thank you in allowing us to continue supporting our nation's Navy. Thank you. Thank you sir. The dedication of the men and women here today will also help our military accomplish one of my top national security priorities, rebuilding a 355 ship Navy. This small town in Wisconsin has raised up one of the premier shipbuilding enterprises anywhere on Earth. And if you come back here in five years, you'll see one of the top places anywhere in the world.